There was a guy that uh, was didn't understand how someone could continue to fail the test if you give him the truth. He was so holy, such a holy chassid. His name is Rabbi Gross. Kodesh Kodeshim. And he decided that he's going to go to this horrible neighborhood in, in Israel um, 40 years ago about and uh, he's going to move there why is he going to move there? there's work to do Hero. so you saw that in the border over there between the Arab places and, and the Jews there was uh, there was a someone there was prostitution Jewish prostitutes so he went to one he went to the to the people over there and he says who's your boss? So it's oh don't talk to the boy. Boss is Pinchas. Pinchas, Shemachem, he's a criminal, he's a murderer, he's a this, he's a that. Don't mess with him. Nobody, even the cops, are scared of Pinchas. He says, the police are scared of Pinchas. He says, where does he live? All right. Enough's enough. I'm telling you, don't mess with Pinchas. He's no joke. Where does he live? Yo, he lives over there, fifth floor. Go. He goes to the house with... Hello, I want to go. The neighbor heard the knocks on the next door. He goes, hey, listen, for the Rav, I don't know who you are. I'm just letting you know. Make sure you wrote a will. Make sure you wrote a will, because if you come in there, you're not going out. He's a cold blood murderer. I don't know who you are. I don't know what you think you are. All I know is if you go into the house, you're not coming out. Hello. Pinchas, the murderer, opens the door. Ken, how can I help you? What do you want? I came here to say Lechaim. Lechaim, who are you? Oh, the, the, the. what do you want? I just want Lechaim. What do you care? I want to have a Lechaim with you. I want to have a little Arak together. I'm moving to the neighborhood. I want to do. You're moving to this neighborhood? You, Hasid. Ha, this, Hasid, long coat, everything. You're moving to this neighborhood? You didn't find anything else the rest of Israel? I'm moving here. I'm moving next door to you. I want to do Lechaim. Okay, no come. He sits down with him, this Kodesh Kodashim is sitting with the criminal. Mamash, head of the underworld at that time, at that place. And he says to him, listen, I heard you have a business over there. Why are you, why are you doing this? The Bnot Israel, the daughters of Israel. Uh, Kodesh Kodashim, you're selling them as prostitutes, Hashem and Achem. Why? Why? It's not good. It's your sisters. Hey, for the Rav, I need to pay the bills. You came to say, Lechaim, it's a place at a time. Mind your business, for the love. You're lucky I'm not, uh... Israel, it's your sister. He's not giving up. He's not giving up. Pinchas is for the love. I'm giving you enough respect. Enough. Okay, I'm going to ask you one question. Then I'm going to leave. Did you ever have a dream? Did you ever have a dream of what you want? Did you, when you grew up, you were a kid, did you imagine you're going to be a pimp to your own sisters? Is this what you imagine yourself as? No, no, obviously for the Rav, no. So when did you have a dream? Oh, I dreamed, I don't know, I have a truck. In those days, 40 years ago, a semi-trailer truck was unheard of. Why, you have a truck? Yeah, and I have a truck. I'll sell things, I buy things, I move things. Yeah, if I had a truck, that's what I imagined myself doing. So, so if I give you a truck, you stop with, with this? What do you mean, you know how much a truck is? Well, don't ask how much it is. If I give you a truck, if I give you a truck, you stop. Because you give me a truck, I'm stuck. He went home. Young guy, Avrech, nothing, doesn't have anything. Says, his wife, honey, we're selling the house. Okay, hold on. He sold his house, he bought him a truck, he showed up to his house with a truck. Here, you have a truck. He stopped and he told everyone in the neighborhood, listen, anyone touches one of, uh, one of these Jewish women, you have to deal with me. Baal Hashem did tshuva, and he actually still lives in that area to this day. There's almost no crime in the entire area from what he did. Why? He believes. He believes what Hashem wrote is what's going to happen. He believes that there is a diamond inside you. Sometimes it's hard to find, but it's in there.